Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Today I'm not going to be building anything. I'm just doing a shop update. Alright, so I'm back for the summer and one of the first projects I did was this tenon jig. It fits over the fence on my table saw and you guys probably know how these things work. Alright, so next up is this router table and it came with this router and it's a quarter inch. I was hoping that it was half, that's why I bought it. Uh, so a little bit bummed out about that, but it was only 20 bucks, so yard sales are fun. And I might have mentioned this before, it's a little belt sander. It was five bucks at a uh, flea market, um, and it came with a big plastic case thing. It's also Craftsman. Uh, it works really well, but I think I needed a new uh, sanding belt. So this one's fun. It's a dovetail jig. I bought it also at a flea market for 10 bucks, and it's brand new, never been used. Uh, the two router bits that come with it are still actually all packaged up nicely how they were. Um, haven't got around to using it, but hopefully I will soon. Alright, so next up is the central machinery joiner. It's uh, four and an eighth inch, and I got it at the same garage sale that I got the router from. Uh, I paid ten bucks for it, and I tried it out. Motor runs great, uh, just the fence needs to be fixed quite a bit. Alright, so this is the last new tool in the shop, and it's a Porter Cable Biscuit Joiner. I bought it at a flea market for about 20 bucks. I actually bought this the same time that I bought the dovetail jig, and this came with like three boxes of biscuits, uh, but I haven't had a use for it yet because school and not being here and all that fun stuff. I ran into a pretty big issue of having all of my tools on my workbench. And I could never get anything done because I couldn't find the tools that I needed. Or the tools that I needed were just taking up too much space and then I couldn't get to the space that I needed. So I slapped this thing together. If I remember correctly, the frame of it is made from 3 quarter inch pine plywood. The drawers were made from some 2x4s that were sawn down the middle. And the fronts are basically just scrap plywood with a ton of scrap wood glued to it. Alright, so the bottom drawer does kind of catch on the ground over there, but we were originally going to put this on casters, which is why there's a gap right here. The middle drawer is basically just drilly kind of stuff, all the drills and drill bits. Alright, so this top drawer is actually probably my favorite of the three. The handle is one of the sides for the beer mug that I made last Christmas. Uh, these little oak things over here, and there's some around, are cutoffs from the lamp vase thing that I made. This is a little block of uh, ash from when I fixed a drawer for one of my neighbors. And the plywood on the back holding it all together is a scrap from my boat. I can tell that from the little angled edge on the plywood. And the drawers all slide fairly smoothly, for this being my first drawer that I've ever made. Like I said, fairly smoothly in first drawer. This one's better. Alright guys, so I have some birthday presents to start working on, and I'm going to try to get my Christmas gifts done before December 24th. In hindsight, that'll probably work out a bit better. So, until my next project, uh, have good days or... I don't think this Carpenter Bee understands that this is my shop, not his. And I mean, I wouldn't be too mad that he's in here, but he's making a lot of noise. That's just rude.